All right. This is, of course, shaking the political uh, landscape in Karnataka. And as we know, Lok Sabha elections have just completed. The first phase is completed. The second phase for Karnataka uh, that happens on the 7th of May. What kind of political repercussions would this have? And more importantly, how... Has, how is this a case of uh, sexual harassment when many of them claim that the victims that were seen in those videos may have done this willingly with Prajwal? I'm going to get that clarity there from uh, Brinda Adige, who is an activist joining us right here on India Today. We also have Congress spokesperson who is firing salvos. The Congress now using this uh, to slam the BJP and the JDS alliance partnership, claiming that this is the true nature of these alliance partners. Bhavya Narsim Murthy joining us from Karnataka. Uh, let me start with Brinda on this. Brinda, please take us through uh, these videos. Of course, we can't play, that, play this up. It's really obnoxious, obscene, and tragic. Many of those women there in those videos are seen uh, requesting, allegedly, Prajwal Revarna not to uh, take their videos. They want to cover their faces. They're trying to avoid him, but uh, he allegedly uh, forces and coerces them to, to compromise with him. Now, many, many would say that it could be an act of consent, that those women willingly were bombing up to him. What would you say, Brinda, on this? Okay. First and foremost, Nabila, what we need to understand is that Prajwal Revana acted and act from a position of power and control. And many of these people have been in vulnerable positions, vulnerable situations and circumstances because of which he has taken advantage of that position. His advantage is the power that he gets from his family. So though I heard you speak uh, saying that some uh, the party has said only talk about Ravana and not about the family, we need to understand yeah. that he derives that power and entitlement because of that family. Now that said, there is no way these women can shout back or fight back or say no because they have been coerced. Absolutely. And, and had these videos the not come is... out, Brinda, had these no. videos not come out, of course, it's, it's tragic that many of these women now, their identities have been exposed. So it's for them to firefight their own families at this point. But had these, uh, had these videos not come out, had, uh, had these acts allegedly involving Prajal Levana not been exposed, then this video, then the, the, the women would continue to have been victims to this crime and God knows how long because we hear it's been going on since 2019, could have been much before that as well. Absolutely. You're very right. And by law, this is rape. Where we can see in one of the here in one of the videos, she's saying Beda. That's once told no. There yeah. is no consent over here in any which way. Second, and he's let heard, us assume and, and if, that if these this are is, all, you know, Brinda adding to that, women if this is true. Working, working in the premises, working in this office, working in some kind of a situation which is known as a workspace, a workplace then absolutely the sexual harassment at the workplace law comes into play. And 354 is something that you cannot deny. Harassment has happened. You cannot say that there was consensual at all. There is no way for them to retaliate. So just because they were not in a position to retaliate, it does not become that it is consensual. No consensual. Nobody can say that right. that you know, is a and, consensual. And in the, in the videos, if one, and it's disgusting, you, if one has seen it or heard it, uh, we hear, and if, if this is verified to be Prajwal Revana, it's heard Prajwal Revana convincing them, nothing's going to happen, don't worry, I'm going to delete the footage, listen to me. You know, he's trying to coerce them. That's, that's more or less what's heard in many of those videos. Um, it's, it's really sad. Those women right now, their faces, their identities have been exposed. Largely, those videos does not have Rajwal Ramana as much in it as the women itself. Uh, Bhavya Narsimha Murthy, right. who's also with us. See, he has escaped, both in the videos as well as in person. Brinda, stay with us. I'm going to quickly cut to Bhavya Narsimha Murthy of the Congress. Bhavya, uh, you have heard of such allegations. In fact, I'm from Bengaluru myself, and I know that these allegations have surfaced even in the past, though the videos did not come out. But there, were, uh, there was an undercurrent that there could have been some videos, or there is some videos that people are talking about uh, involving Prajwal Ravana and some obscene sexual acts. Uh, it's now blown out of proportion, but it was the Congress who was in an alliance with the JDSE even in the past. Uh, was there no uh, insight that the Congress party had of such crimes 
involving Prajwal Revanna in the past? So, in the past, I, I'm assuming you are referring to this letter written by Dev Rajay Gowda, a BJP leader to Mr. Narendra Modi, um, asking him not to form an alliance with the JDS because of this reason. There's a he even did a press meet alleging the person in question today as he has these videos and please let us not get into an alliance with JDS. Until then, nothing was out. Yes, there was a press meet done, there was a letter written to Prime Minister, but as a um, government, we did not have any evidence. Once these videos surfaced, the chairperson of Women Commission of the States, she wrote a letter to the government saying an SIT should be set up. The very day, the government set up an SIT, and a day after that, one of the victims came out and she gave a complaint. One of the victims has come out and she has registered a complaint. And now, and uh, in that complaint, it's not just Prajwal Revana, even his father's name has been mentioned. By the time this process took place, Prajwal Revana has uh, went out of this country. And no matter what, once the SIT probe is done, we will make sure he will brought he's brought to justice and this lame excuse they are given that giving that you know this trip was planned ahead come on this is such a big in their uh well, surely it's very hard to believe that he had planned this trip much like in advance etc it happen? is certainly hard to believe how can a person ignore such an allegation and fly away he's supposed to be here prove it and these, and these videos have allegedly surfaced a few days before polls. It's not, uh, it's blew, blown out of proportion now, but we hear that uh, even before Hassan went, went into first phase of elections, that's on the 26th of April, these videos were already out and in circulation. So Prajwal Revana knew very well that this had already come up and uh, it could have been very well that he exactly. has, uh, he, he has fled, quote unquote, from the country out of fear. Let me cut across to Vivek Reddy, who's also an advocate. He's uh, part of the BJP too, Vivek. The, of course, the BJP can't take the blame for another person's individual uh, private act. But what is shocking here is that there was a, a leader from the BJP itself who a year ago alerted the BJP senior leadership that this man could have uh, a tainted image. And if these videos come out, then we could be in soup that there would be big embarrassment to the BJP. And let's not get into an alliance, but uh, it appears that the BJP senior leadership turned a blind eye. Well, I, mean, Nabila, I think, uh, first of all, Devraj Gowda was a person who had challenged uh, Prajwal Revanna's election. Yeah. So there was an um, inimical um, enmity between them. And um, he did not want an alliance for his own personal reasons. Well, the choice of Prajwal Revanna is left to JDS. The alliance can't be questioned because of uh, the personal acts of Prajul Revana. I'm not here to justify or deny because it is he who has to justify or deny. Yeah. I'm not the person. I'm here as a BJ. I'm not here as a BJP spokesperson. No, no, of course. And this is I'm an act where a... none of them can justify. And I totally yes. agree with you. Nobody can justify something like this. Nobody can uh, justify or this. Or cushion or so, um, a lot sort of... A lot of questions have to be posed to Prajul Revana himself. Yeah. As to why he did this, what were the reasons and whether and uh, as to how we can justify there is no justification for this if at all this has happened but uh, the larger alliance question is uh, not dependent on this incident the alliance is there in order to break the congress hegemony the congress corruption the congress arrogance of power so we have no option we have to unite and we have to unite for the larger purpose of india india has to ensure we, the whole of india has to ensure that Narendra Modi ji is brought back to power. So, okay. In, so, in this, but, but, you know, one can't, one can't also deny the fact that this has brought embarrassment and it's the second phase of elections for Karnataka on the 7th of May. That's typically we were also the third phase Nabila, of Lok Sabha. Uh, you have northern parts of Karnataka going to elections. Do you believe this, is, this will have any electoral impact negatively see, for your alliance are, partnership? People, people are wise enough to understand that the personal acts of individual candidates are uh, issues for which they have to bear the brunt. They have to bear the shock or they have to bear the people's... Uh, no, uh, well, well, I get that. How are you going to fire fight? Elections around the corner in North Karnataka? Well, this has nothing to do, this has nothing to do with the alliance and the larger uh, uh, winning margins of the BJP, the larger advantage that BJP has in Karnataka over the Congress. Though the Congress is ruling, though it has issued a lot of dolls, though it has issued guarantees, still the BJP is out there on the winning turf largely ahead of the Congress. 
and there is no issue at all. This will not affect okay, so the other constituencies. Okay, so you're saying this is not going to have but any impact. But what we are concerned, I have just to add just one, one word of caution, and that is, why is the Congress at this point of time, the Congress has thrown about 10,000 pen drives on the roads of Hassan one or, one or two days before the elections. And this is widely reported in all the media. So this sees the, you can now assess the mischief, mischievous nature of the Congress propaganda. Timing okay, it. Okay, this is a Congress a time. propaganda. Let me take that question from Vivek. Stay with us, Bhavya. Go on. Congress propaganda. I don't know. I'm surprised at Vivek's statement here. They're talking, they're saying, you know, just the alliance should be kept out of this person, whatever uh, the person in question. How can Mr. Modi declare and give out a clean shit, saying the videos are fake then? How dare he do that? On what basis, on what FSL report did Narendra Modi give a clean shit saying these are fake videos then? That's my question. How dare he do that? This is a question of women of this country, the safety of their... The, the question of their safety, question of their dignity. And how can you justify something like this? And you allow him just to win both? So... With just to you, win you your cannot, election, you, cannot, you stoop so low that you come you, you out cannot, and 150 comes no and registers of, a complaint. Not Mr. Narendra no Modi doubts her right. credibility. How Narendra in the world did you get a dream? Credibility. How, in the, how did, so how did you become an investigating officer? How do you know that this is the correct propaganda? This is the correct video? Who are you here to give certification? You are not, uh, you are not the certifying what, what, authority, what, what, right? How dare you, you are now acting as a certifying authority you for those videos. Are fake videos then? First, let are us see. Let it go for forensic examination. Do Even before the report the is out, you cannot make such an allegation. Babia, please caution yourself. Is this how a spokesperson of a national party should speak? Just like well, your prime you... minister who is irresponsibly giving statements. Without okay, any business, I think, I think the irresponsibility stands on your part. Fake. How dare he do that? Irresponsibility stands on your part. First of all, you assess are you serious? whether these videos. How He's can you give a certification? Who are you? Okay, so if I can interrupt, Bhavya, the forensic report hasn't yet come out. Uh, the FSL team are yet to probe into the matter. Right? Exactly. You're a spokesperson. While that said, while so that said. Vivek, a quick question to you. Will Is the BJP distancing itself from the JDS at this point? Has there been any formal understanding within the BJP leadership at this point to collectively condemn this always, act? And always, any decision on the alliance? You're getting into second phase of elections in Karnataka as alliance the, partners. The alliance is stronger as never before. There is no question of any problem in the alliance. It is the Congress that is trying to divide. And unfortunately, so, so a the sexual Congress, predator in the people, form of your alliance people, partner is people, welcome the, or not? So, people like Bhavya Narsimurthy must understand that they have to wait for the forensic report. There is a process of law and then they have to decide whether this is true or not and then they have to proceed. They cannot jump into conclusions though the Congress wants to. That is unfortunate. And do you believe that the question, JDS, do you believe, do you, Vivek, a quick question, person. do you believe the JDS should take the moral responsibility and expel the father-son duo until allegations are proven wrong? I see again. Revanna has been roped in for political purposes. Revanna, Mr. Revanna is not involved. As far as uh, you can there's write a, complaints about the whole family, by a maid accusing yeah, Revanna that is of right. sexually that is, that harassing is political. Her. You know the hands behind those complaints. Why is Mr. Revanna involved? Why have they brought in Revanna? That there shows is a formal the complaint nature. by a house help working in Revanna's home, claiming that he sexually violated her since 2019 to date. Yes. Then let the investigation go on. The alliance is as strong as ever. We are going to ensure that uh, we will win all the seats within okay. the alliance and uh, we will give a big major lesson to the Congress. All right. Thanks very much, uh, Vivek and Bhavya, both of you for joining us on that. Of course, you heard the arguments between the Congress and the BJP. This is precisely the rhetoric right now that pans out in Karnataka just four days ahead of the next phase of elections that happens on the 7th of May. Will this really have an electoral impact on the BJP-JDS alliance partnership.